Well, last week, Seven News hosted a Buffalo strong conversation about moving the discussion forward on racism. One topic we covered, what tangible things you can do to make a difference. Our panelists told us, get involved. Segregation was an intentional process that separated, isolated, and disconnected black and brown people in this community. So be connected, find a way to get connected. And I think your time is one way to be able to do that. Money. Get connected, and that's what a 7 News is going to help you do by highlighting a nonprofit in the city every Monday that is looking for volunteers to show their Buffalo Strong spirit. Tonight, our Fevin Casahoon takes us inside the Big Big Table Community Cafe. Every Monday through Friday during the lunch rush hours of 11 to 2.30 p.m., you can find this bright yellow corner cafe in the midst of the hustle and bustle at Hudson Street and West Avenue. Whoever walks through that door gets fed, whether they have $500, a dollar, 50 cents. Welcome to the Big Big Table Community Cafe, where anyone can walk through these doors and get a meal regardless of what they're wearing or financial status. If patrons don't have money at all, customers still get to eat because the cafe is based on donations. We take fresh produce or canned goods or non-perishables, and if you have none of that, then you can volunteer with us for about a half an hour or more, and you're paid, and you can go on your merry way and have a wonderful day. The cafe opened in October of 2021, and since then, kitchen manager Teresa Dempster says they've been able to make connections with other organizations. Dempster says some have even dropped monetary donations off. This place is so important for this city because with all of the what people like to call food deserts um, this is a place where people can get a, a health somewhat healthy meal um, they can get a sense of community and they don't there's no stigma about whether they can pay with cash or not. Jesse Heim says he's become a regular patron of the big big table since March. Food is healthy uh, the environment is healthy um, and then I've made friends with the, the people who work here and then some of the, the other patrons. He says the cafe has also been able to help him process some of his past trauma. And especially after uh, being homeless for a couple months uh, in New York State and then having uh, a history of different types of things like substance abuse and mental illness, um, it's nice to be able to, uh, this is a place I come here to heal and to uh, and to ground and ask him what his favorite item is at the cafe and he'll gladly say it's the baked goods and it's actually in buffalo you can get there's a couple of places where you can get some pretty good meals for for for, for free yeah. and uh but this is my favorite place to come i'm hoping that the people who come through here are feel welcome and feel like that there is no judgment Fevin casahoon seven news buffalo thank you Fevin. again the hours are monday through friday from 11 to 2.30, everyone is welcome, including volunteers. And right now in the Buffalo Strong section of WKBW.com, you will find a list with contact information for more than a dozen organizations in the city looking for volunteers to get involved. And again, we'll highlight a different one every Monday right here on 7 News at 6. So be sure to tune in for that.